So Will Smith is back in the news. Now you remember last time everybody was talking about Will Smith because he went on here and slapped Chris Rock in his mouth. Well, you know, Will Smith win the hiding, you know, we've seen him before going to India, you know, going getting with a spiritual guru and all that by itself. Then later Jada showed up. I'm like, how you going to get some, um, uh, healing with Jada showing up? Jada one gassed you up to go up there and slap Chris. Well, now he comes out and he wants to put out a public apology. I don't know why, but let's check that out. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the mesh, the message that came back is that, uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I, apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Man, Will, this, this is the problem with this apology. Nobody's even talking about that no more, bro. Why are you bringing it back up? If anything, you should have been approaching Chris Rock yourself. You know who his comedy shows is that, you know, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure he's looking for you now. So if you go up there, he's probably gonna put hands on you, but you could have sent that to him privately. Nobody needs to know about that. I mean, it's like you, you're being performative right now. There's no reason for that. You know what I mean? People forgot about it. Chris Rock is not, I mean, he do talk about it here and there, but people that moved on will people that moved on, bro. I mean, you should not have said anything else more than what you said. His people told you he holler at you when he ready. Well, you on his time now. He's not on your time. He don't have to accept your apology when you want to give it. If he don't ever want to accept it, it is his right because you went on national TV and slapped this man in the face. A man that you knew you could have went hollered at him backstage, man. You could have did that if it was an issue. Even if y'all would have got into a problem, nobody would have never knew about it. That's the thing. You sit up there and embarrass that dude by doing that on, on national TV. So he didn't expect you to do that. That's why he, you were kind of laughing about it when, when you stepped up on stage, Will. So nah, bro, you, you gotta, you gotta put up with that. Whatever Chris want to, to, to how to handle you or not handle you, you gotta put up with it. If I was you, you know, I mean, shoot, you should offer Chris some sort of settlement, bro. Like if you really being real about the situation, you know, say, Hey man, look, I, I want to give you something for your, for your pain and suffering and embarrassment, man, you know, offer something. I mean, you were really serious about it. He probably was like, oh, okay, well, man, he is serious. You know, because I don't know if Chris going to sue him or not. I mean, Chris could. You know what I'm saying? And Will should just go ahead and pay it if he do sue him. But, yeah, man, people are not going to forgive you on their own, you know, on your time, brother. You know, you shouldn't have done that. See, when you have a lot to lose, and, then, and Will Smith is a good example. When you have a lot to lose, you need to think about every move you're making. You don't act on impulse. You know what has kept me out of a lot of things over the years is that I imagine myself doing it and I, I'm, and I imagine everything afterwards. Like, okay, if I do this, what's going to happen afterwards? And a lot of, and those thoughts about playing it in my mind, what would happen afterwards? It always kept me out of trouble because I would think, wait a minute, the trouble I'm going to get into is not worth the action. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, and if more people would think like that and say, wait a minute, imagine yourself going, do what you thinking you want to do. And then imagine the aftermath of it. Is it really worth the consequences? Will has, has a big career, too much to lose. You can't even move like that. You know, at that level, you don't put hands on nobody. I mean, shoot, somebody else do it for you. If you're going to do it, but you can't put hands on nobody at that level. It's the bottom line. because It's going to hurt your money. Now, of course, we don't have to act in another movie or whatever. Again, he good. But still, Will likes to act and all that, and, and that's you know. And I heard he got a he just signed some deal with Apple uh, TV, uh, thirty five million dollar deal. Man, nobody gonna get rid of Will Smith. Not over that, you know. Now if he was slapped a white man, oh he'd have been done. But slap another black man, yeah, they let they let Will Smith back on. They probably laughing about that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about Will Smith, man. Like I say, he should have just went on ahead and stayed out out the limelight. Just do this thing, and whenever Chris is ready, he should have just went on ahead and deal with it then. But you know, it's like he putting on a public spectacle with his apology.